interestingly, it's been about understanding how we can work with the schools, our educational institutions, to strengthen that vocational pathway and increase the involvement of businesses. So you can imagine that's why I've been so pleased to hear some of the discussions this morning. I think these skills summits bring together a wide mix of people and it's always interesting just to hear different views on similar subjects and challenges ahead of us. What's been interesting, I didn't quite realise, I know about all of the funding that we normally do for apprenticeships, um, but I didn't realise that there was going to be just one A4 piece of paper coming out with just all the funding rates on, so for me, I'd quite like to know more about that. Increasingly we realise that we've got to adapt sort of our skills and training systems to the needs of a fast evolving economy and it's that challenge of how do you actually keep up uh, with those changing skill needs and then sort of transmit that to the sort of the training systems. Okay, I think the, the most interesting thing is actually just bringing together a wide range of participants. We've got people here from colleges, councils, training providers, but also policy makers and, and getting everybody together in a room and the discussions that are going on over lunch, for example, are really quite interesting. I think there's been a selection of speakers covering you know, a wide range of topics uh, and it's always great to hear the latest, uh, the latest sort of uh, take on, on policy and also the, the feedback from the audience, which, which it's been uh, quite interactive. Yeah.